Today I want to talk a bit about uh, restoring an application and getting some sort of a security error, right? So uh, I'm gonna, I've opened a InTouch application manager here on the side, and I'm also, I'm also gonna open a SMC, uh, my uh, system management console on the side here, so we can actually track all the error. What's gonna happen is that the, uh, uh, I have, uh, I have a AAPKG file, uh, from another server and I'm trying to port over that uh, application to this workstation and this workstation is a brand new installation of uh, Wonderway in touch and and let's see what happens here um, import file so this guy here right so I double click this guy click next just that New app. Just gonna give some sort of a name there and description. And when you try to import the application, somewhere along the way, it tells you that the create operation fail. It this question, this error pertains to the Microsoft uh, OLEDB SQL Server. And if you look at the uh, SMC System Manager, Orchestra System Management Console, you see that. Uh, it's giving you some sort of a SQL Server unable to connect error here. So if you're having this problem, I'll show you how to resolve this problem here next. So uh, let's close this for now and close this as well. Okay, so it failed to create. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our um, Microsoft uh, SQL Server and open this uh, SQL Server Configuration Manager. So this is your SQL Server. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna drill open the SQL Server network configuration here. And if you have two, you're gonna have to do for both. Mostly uh, the uh, Wonderware looks at MS SQL Server, but we're gonna do both of them nevertheless. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna have to enable this name pipe. So you double click this guy here and just say yes. Hit apply. Okay, you're gonna have to restart your SQL Server, that's what they're saying, and hit OK. And then if you go to TCP, you're gonna enable the TCP as well. And then you click on IP address, and just say yes here too, apply. Same thing, uh, you're required to restart your service, or you can actually restart the computer if need to be. So say OK. So I'm going to do the SQL Express as well here. Yes, here on the name pipe. And for the TCP, yes, apply. And here, enable, yes. So once you make those two changes on these two protocols, uh, you'll see both, all the status become enabled on the MS uh, SQL server and the uh, SQL Server Express, all three should be enabled. So now the changes are done. In order to uh, apply the new changes, uh, you have to restart your two services, your SQL Express and the MS SQL uh, Express, uh, sorry, server services. So the, to restart these two services, you go to SQL Server Services here. So you have two services that's running right now, that's for me and note the process ID. The process ID will be different as soon as you restart. So I'm gonna try restarting MSQL server with a process ID of 3944. So if I restart it, it should give me a brand new process ID. Okay, I've got a new process ID called 7760. So I'm gonna restart this guy here. So, I mean, uh, when, how many of my process ID is that, if you get a brand new process ID, it's successfully restarted and you have a green arrow here. So next one I'm gonna restart is a SQL Server. Um, it's a process ID of 124. I should get a brand new one if it's successfully restarted. Okay, it was previously 124, now it's 2728, and it's a green area. So these two have been successfully restarted. So I'm gonna close this guy here, and I'm gonna try uh, importing the same AAPKG file now. Folder, sorry, file. This guy here, next, 
to this directory with a new name finish now you should not have any issues with uh, uh, importing the application into the server after a few moments you are ready to use your application just double click your new application and then uh, you can use your window maker and your after races well i hope uh, this uh, tutorial helps you with uh, exporting importing your application there nevertheless anyways have a great day